my name is shri sharma and i study in class 9th in hd public school and today i am going to explain the story in the kingdom of fools in the kingdom of fools both the king and his ministers were fools they didn't want it to rule their kingdom like other rulers do so they decided to work during the night and sleep during the day one day a guru and his disciple came to the city and they were shocked that there was no one in the street during the day and as the night began people came out from their houses and started during their uh, work they were more shocked when they came to know that everything cost one rupee so they eat a lot and enjoyed eating the delicious food soon the guru realized that this was a kingdom of fools and it was not safe for them to live there but the disciple wanted to eat the delicious and the cheap food available there so did not uh, so he did not go from the kingdom one day a thief broke into a rich merchant's house and when he was coming from the house out from the house a wall fell on him and he died at the moment um, the thief's brother came to the king and said to the king to give justice to his brother by punishing the rich merchant for not building his wall properly the king agreed with him and ordered his ministers to bring the merchant when the merchant came he said that it was not his fault it was the fault of the mason for not building the wall properly in his father's time when the mason came uh, he blamed to a dancing girl who was distracting him from building the wall by running up and down with jingling with jingling bells on her ankle the dancing girl who was an old uh, woman old woman now blamed uh, the goldsmith for not doing his work properly and delaying her uh, made uh, her walk up and down in the streets when the goldsmith came he said that uh, he was doing the order given by a rich merchant for the wedding of his son and coincidentally the merchant was the same